I've made it a habit over my two decades covering elections to listen when Mitch McConnell talks. Whatever you think of the Senate Republican leader, and I know plenty of people who loathe him and plenty of people who love him, the guy is, without question, one of the smartest political strategists that either party has. If you doubt it, look at what McConnell said about the 2022 election. He was early on the fact that Republicans had a candidate problem, actually candidate problems, and was proven right when weak candidates lost in Georgia, New Hampshire, and Arizona, among other states. Which brings me back to McConnell's new interview with CNN, in which, among other things, the Kentucky Republican reveals his own list of the most endangered Democratic seats. As of right now, the day that you and I are talking, I think we know that we are going to compete in four places heavily, and that would be Montana, West Virginia, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, McConnell told CNN, which in and of itself is pretty interesting. And the first three states that McConnell lists above make a lot of sense. They're widely regarded as the trio of best pickup opportunities for Republicans in 2024. In each of those three states, Donald Trump beat Joe Biden in 2020 handily. So no big deal there. But it's the fourth race in McConnell's list, Pennsylvania. That's the real news coming out of this interview. Prior to McConnell's comments, I regarded Pennsylvania as a decidedly second tier pickup opportunity for Republicans. Yes, the state is extremely competitive at the presidential level and is expected to be one of just a handful of the swingiest states in 2024. But Democratic Senator Bob Casey Jr. is also a proven commodity in the state. He won his 2018 race by 13 points, a massive margin, in a state as competitive as Pennsylvania, and took 54% and 59% in his two previous races for that Senate seat. Casey is also the son of former Pennsylvania Governor Bob Casey Sr., a popular political figure in the state. Then there's the sticky situation currently playing out on the Republican side of the island, Pennsylvania. So McConnell is heavily invested in recruiting wealthy businessman Dave McCormick, who finished second in the 2022 Republican primary, to run a second time. And McCormick, honestly, sounds like he's interested. I'm terribly worried about the direction of the country, McCormick said recently, adding, I want to try to find a way to serve. Not sure if running for the Senate is a way to do it. We're praying and thinking about it as a family, but I'm certainly considering it. Now, the problem for McCormick and the problem for McConnell is that 2022 gubernatorial nominee Doug Mastriano is also considering running. Mastriano, by the way, has said he has already made up his mind, but has not revealed that decision publicly. A Mastriano bid would be a nightmare for McConnell. Mastriano is one of Trump's most ardent election deniers and was absolutely blown out in the governor's race in 2022 after running a campaign in which he seemed to have zero interest in reaching any voter outside of the hardcore Republican base. Now, given all that drama, it seems odd that McConnell would list Pennsylvania as one of his top pickup priorities. Unless, of course, McConnell knows something that we don't, like that Mastriano, for example, isn't going to run and McCormick is, which would be a huge, huge positive development for Senate Republicans with an eye on winning back the chamber next November. Now, while the Pennsylvania mention in McConnell's top four is the big news out of the interview with CNN, it's also worth looking at the races where he is quite clearly more skeptical about Republican chances. At the top of that list is Arizona, where independent Senator Kirsten Sinema has yet to announce whether she will run again in 2024. McConnell told CNN that there is a quote unquote high likelihood that the party will avoid deciding whether to seriously contest that race until they see the results of the Republican primary, which is shorthand for, we wanna see whether A, 2022 gubernatorial nominee Carrie Lake runs, and B, if she wins the primary. So Lake is reportedly getting closer to announcing a Senate bid, a decision that, reading between the lines, McConnell thinks would badly hamstring the party's chances of winning the seat next fall. Lake, like Mastriano, has been an ardent defender of Trump's election denialism. And Lake herself has refused to admit she lost the 2022 governor's race, continuing to insist that she will somehow be installed as the winner even after legal challenge after legal challenge continues to be dismissed. I think it's worth noting that McConnell makes zero mention of the open Michigan Senate race in his assessment of the 2024 playing field, a seeming admission that Democratic Congresswoman Alyssa Slotkin is the heavy favorite not just for the Democratic nomination, but also to be the next senator from Michigan, replacing retiring Senator Debbie 
stab it out. So what? Some of McConnell's list of most competitive Democratic held seats may well be a bit of wish casting. Pennsylvania, at least at the moment, is not in the same place in terms of raw competitiveness that West Virginia, Montana, and Ohio are. But I've learned over the years that you ignore Mitch McConnell at your own peril. If he lists Pennsylvania as one of the four most competitive states on the map, and a place where Republicans are planning to spend heavily, we all need to reconsider how we've been thinking about that race.